Right, we're back. New project, new series. Bit of a mini series we're going to be doing on this one, bringing you all the exciting details on this certified passive house. So, come along. So, this home's on a pretty old 20 year old building platform. Essentially what they did is carved out the hill and brought all that topsoil and bad fill and just threw it over this edge. So it's on pretty bad ground out here. Um, the foundation design is where essentially where each one of these is, we have piles going all the way down into the good ground, the glacial tilt, and then Essentially what's that doing is holding up this portion of the house and then these big concrete beams are spanning between those those piles. Um, then that's when we get into the good stuff, the, the insulated, fully thermally broken foundation. So we've got our damp proof membrane, 250mm layers of XPS foam and a 300mm layer of um, EPS. This EPS is going to be um, coming in one by one uh, pods and that essentially helps us create um, ground beams at a meter centers to span the um, bad fill in between our structural foundation, our um, ground beam assembly spanning between our piles. And then obviously we have 50 mil on the outside of the foundation uh, for the thermal um, thermal break. Okay, so so we have a structural foundation, and then we have our insulated foundation, and then you know, surely you'd want to connect those two, um, so that you you don't have any of that shear movement. So this is how the engineer has designed to couple these foundations. So we're coupled structurally, but we're decoupled um, or uncoupled thermally. This is a glass fiber re rebar, and the reason they use this is because it's uh, low and conductive. So we won't have any of that thermal bridging between these foundations through, you know, your conventional steel rebar, um, because we're using this uh, glass fiberglass rebar. So it's non-corrosive and high, very, very strong as well. 